binaural beats. Binaural beats, as the name suggests, are beats delivered to the two ears. One pattern of kind of percussive beat to one ear and a different pattern, or at least a pattern that's out of phase delivered to the other ear. And what happens is because of the way that the auditory system converges in the brainstem, the difference between the two patterns of beats that are heard by the, each of the two different ears leads to a third pattern that the brain entrains to. Binaural beats have been generated in ways that create a particular pattern of interaural time differences that then cascades up to the rest of the brain and puts the forebrain and other areas of the brain that are involved in cognition and action into a particular rhythm. And some of the rhythms or waves of brain activity are ones that you may have heard of, things like alpha waves or theta waves or gamma waves. If you look across the board at the studies of binaural beats and you ask what sorts of binaural beats appear to be useful for people to enhance their brain function for particular kinds of tasks, we arrive at some very interesting answers. The frequency of binaural beats that appears to bring about improved cognitive functioning at the level of memory, improved reaction times, and improved verbal recall seems to be 40 hertz. Now, is it exactly 40 hertz? We don't know. In the literature, where binaural beats of about 40 hertz, or exactly 40 hertz in some cases, somehow brought the brain into a state that made it optimal for learning, for memory, and for certain types of recall, including verbal recall, math learning, et cetera. So for those of you that are interested in binaural beats, uh, there are a number of free apps out there. I'm not gonna recommend any in particular. You just have to search for one that, um, that you happen to like. One thing that you will find is that many of those apps superimpose binaural beats onto raindrops or ocean sounds, or that rather they superimpose ocean sounds and raindrops onto the binaural beats. That does not appear to be as effective as pure binaural beats. There has been an exploration of lower frequency binaural beats. So for instance, seven Hertz, which is theta binaural beats done for 30 minutes with an overlay of rain sound or rain sounds only that's been analyzed. And believe it or not, that showed immediate recall memory was significantly decreased Okay, so that's a negative effect of binaural beats on memory. So the idea that binaural beats are just great for us across the board, I think is wrong. Here's another surprise. Many of the studies that I looked at didn't have people listening to binaural beats while they were doing the tasks, the memory task or the music learning, et cetera. They would do it beforehand for 30 minutes. There were instances in which people were listening to binaural beats during the task. But if you decide to employ binaural beats, I recommend this 40 hertz as a great place to start. I don't recommend doing it for all of your work bouts. I think there's a good reason to believe that you could attenuate to it. But if you are going to try it, you might try it both ways. You might try listening to binaural beats for about 30 minutes while doing something else, and then maybe eating lunch or something of that sort, or taking a walk, and then going into the work bout. Yes. Yeah.